So exactly a year ago today, I had the silly idea to try and cycle from my hometown in Bushmills, uh, in the north coast of Northern Ireland, to uh, Brighton. End of day two, boys. And the reason for that is that uh, I work for and I live personally the overcoming MS program. I have myself have MS, was diagnosed nine years ago, and I wanted to prove to myself and to our community and to, I suppose, the wider world that you can do and you should do things that are a little bit unusual and push yourself physically and mentally and want to do it for a really good cause and raise awareness and hopefully a ton of cash while we were doing it. <laughs> Don't fall off now. <laughs> Don't fall off now. Great effort. Great effort. So I asked my cousin Stuart here to come along. He was like, yeah, I'll go for a bike ride. And uh, a year later, almost to the day, we have unbelievably finished it. Well, first thought was, this is a madman. <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy. Let's have it, lads. Absolutely delighted to have done it, to support this guy. Incredible. You know, I've seen firsthand how much the charity Overcoming MS has helped him. And I've seen firsthand how he's had this potentially devastating, you know, news. And he's not hid from it, he's not run away from it, and he's actually turned it into something positive and he's been hugely productive and proactive with the charity, it's incredible. I think the thing that kept us going was firstly knowing we were doing this for a really good reason. I've had the great privilege of meeting many, many people who live with MS and the privilege it is to serve them kept me going. Everyone's well fueled, well slept. I'm happy. But also we had, we had a brilliant support team behind us. So we had a van that was donated to us and we had our, our two wives for the second half and, and my brother and my cousin for the first half. You're getting it. We love you. And 600 miles and 10 days later, we're just about in one piece, but we've, we've done it. Well, my wife got diagnosed with multiple sclerosis over 20 years ago. And fortunately she found out about Professor Genenek's Overcoming MS 7 point program to help people with MS and she's recovered brilliantly. She's been well for the last 18 or so years and it is very much down to the lifestyle approach. It's been a godsend to so many people around the world with MS and uh, we're here to spread the message. So how many kilometres is that a day? <laughs> he works in kilometres. kilometres. This guy is a miles man. Yeah, I'm kilometers all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's about a hundred a day. Hundred a day? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do it sometimes. I went hundred kilometer one day, and it's but the next day was bad. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> professor. <laughs> I think we're going to have to look after him. It's, it's exciting. We're a bit nervous, you know. <laughs> so now we're going to have to up our game a little bit and maybe behave and, and make sure he gets there in one piece. He's quite important. Well, it's only 16 miles, so I'm hoping I can manage that. The guys, they'll help me through it. I'm not much of a cyclist, but I'm really looking forward to the ride this afternoon. People living with MS can do an awful lot to improve their physical and their mental health by modifying relatively simple things in their lifestyle. MS is not a death sentence. I certainly, a decade later, live a very full, happy, healthy life with my MS, and I think the two of us standing here today show just what is possible. Yeah.